Hi, Martin here. Um, what I'm going to show you to do today is how to uh, port and polish a throttle body off a 4.7 liter Dodge or Jeep Grand Cherokee motor. Um, now, in 2001, they went to a 68 millimeter throttle body. Looks exactly the same as 65, other than the throttle plate, of course, is 3 millimeters bigger. Um, so a great upgrade for your earlier year models is just to get yourself a 68 if you like. Or you can always just port and polish your 65. Um, there's a large restriction right inside here in the throttle. This one already has been somewhat polished and ported. But right in here, and before you hit this uh, throttle plate, you'll feel a nice bump. probably somewhat hard to see but now I've like I said I've done this one already but I'm not quite happy with it and I'm going to do some more work on it um, a big deal first is take a sharpie because what we don't want to do when you're porting and polishing this is touch the areas where the throttle plate is touching the the bore of the throttle body okay so what I'm going to do here is just take a sharpie and mark these areas. And I'm going to do both sides even though I'm not making any modification to this side because it's already at the 68 millimeter. Okay? Okay, now you can see exactly the areas we do not want to hit. Okay, now when removing this, you got a couple torque screws here. And they actually expand them slightly on the very last couple threads. So at first, when you're taking them out, it seems like they're coming out easy, and then it gets really hard. Be careful. When it gets hard, back it off again, like you're, gonna, like you're tightening it, and actually use some uh, lube on the end of those screws. A little penetrating lube right here. But work the screw back and forth because it is somewhat easy to strip this out right here. The screw is somewhat soft. So uh, just be take your time with that. Um, it is probably not necessary to remove the, th the throttle shaft here um, and it is hard to get out even after you get these screws out and pull this butterfly out down in there you can see it there's a little snap ring so we gotta get that out of there All right. I took a uh, very cheap pair of snap ring pliers and modified them um, this had another section on here where you could put these on here and I had to cut all this down so these would reach in here deep enough to get to that snap ring okay and then I even had to take off a little bit off the uh, diameter of those pins so they would fit into here okay another thing I did is I grabbed some duct tape and placed it in here just right on that where that line is that I made um, just to help protect it it's not going to stop like a, a very aggressive stone, but if I'm using just uh, like sanding drums or whatever, that'll help protect that that land where the uh, butterfly touches. Okay.
1967. Okay, I'm using a finer stone here, and then uh, I'll show you the next tool we're using here in a minute. Alright, here we go. Okay, what I got here is a uh, 180 grit, it's, uh, like a cylinder hone, more of a polish. It's, uh, you're going to see where I don't have it exactly perfectly round. This is going to help get it back to that shape. Actually, it looks like I did a pretty good job. The only spot it isn't hitting is right here along the edge. Other than that, it looks really good. I'm just going to hit that for a little bit longer. Okay done quite a bit of work to it I'm going to check the uh, inside diameter I think we got right there I'm gonna call that good and um, a little bit of polishing and stuff will probably get get it real close to 68 bigger going this way isn't totally even What do we got there? There we are, 68.34. Now I'm going to use this hone here, sanding hone. Okay, there you go. I think that does a really a pretty damn nice job. I'm just using some 220 right now. And then we'll move to something else, to the finer. That. I did hit it with a 400 probably spent about 20 minutes sending it down getting some of the lines out of it there's still a few in here but let me tell you for what I'm using it for this is way beyond what I what needs to be done all right I'm gonna uh, continue on with this and then we'll get back to the reassembly pulled the uh, tape off that I had down here to protect that area 
you can clearly still see the black line that I had there with the Sharpie and you can definitely tell which part I've been polishing alright I've got the uh, throttle shaft back in, I got the throttle plate in, the screws are tightened up um, I'm going to do something else with the screws yet I want to go ahead and get this snapper ring back onto this shaft okay once you get it on the shaft you can actually just push it down with a small screwdriver alright I got the throttle body all put back together a word of advice when you are putting that uh, snap ring back in there do it without the butterfly installed yet uh, but make sure you got everything the way you want it and you will not have to pull that shaft back out because getting that snap ring back out of there is it's a pain okay um, and then after you get the snap ring to actually snap on you'll actually see it go down then go ahead and install your butterfly back on um, I'm going to uh, actually probably mill these or just shave these uh, studs the screws down somewhat flush and then I'm going to take a center punch and just kind of expand them out a little bit but do not go crazy with that because we don't want to damage the shaft All right. that's basically it right there Whoa. I like it alright thanks for watching uh, please subscribe I got more videos coming out and a lot of stuff to do with the air intake system. I'm going to be upgrading that. And I think it's going to turn out real nice. Thank you.